Edo here, and my next guest reviewer is Fred Galpern, who is a good friend of mine from way back when I worked at Blue Fang Games. He's an artist and producer in the game industry for 15 years, and he's also running PuzzleNation.com, which is making various traditional puzzle games and puzzle game apps. Anyway, he's on to review Star Realms, which is one of his favorite games, and he actually plays it a ton with his son, Max, who joins him in the video. Great fun. Check it out. Thanks. Hi, I'm Fred. And I'm Max. And today we're going to talk to you about Star Realms. Star Realms is a really awesome science fiction based deck building card game. And it comes in just this little box. Um, retails for maybe 10 bucks. It's small, it's fun. Um, it's got a killer theme, it's a deck builder. It adds a really neat uh, element to deck building. It's similar to games like Ascension, but it adds the ability to attack your opponent. Right, Max? Mm -hmm. I love attacking him with uh, big blob creatures because they're super cheap and they have big, big attack and bonuses. What Max means by blob creatures is there are four different factions in the game and the blob creatures are one of them. Um, the theme, the, the science fiction theme is really deeply embedded. Every card has amazing artwork. Um, it reminds me of Omni Magazine, if you remember that from the 70s. Some of the Ralph McQuarrie artwork that inspired Star Wars. And, um, you know, of course, modern science fiction stuff. It's like, like kind of Halo with some of the um, more like on the cover, there's like a tank kind of Halo themed. Yep, absolutely. So it's a really cool looking game. And then the theme, as you play the game, your hand of cards has great themed um, items that can either purchase other cards in the center row or be used to attack your opponent. So each side is a certain number of victory points. I think it's 50 to start with. And then you, you beat your opponent down over the course of the game. And the first player to push their opponent down to zero victory points, they become the winner. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the number of players and how that can change. So as I said before, for about 10 bucks, you get this initial box of cards, and that's for two players. And it's really fun. Max and I play all the time. Um, but if you want to add two more players, all you need to do is buy another box. Same identical box. It's just another 10 bucks. And now you have a four-player game. If you want to expand to six players, you can add one more box. So for 30 bucks, you've got a great six-player game. But there's more. If you want to change up the play experience, you want to add some replayability, or just mix up what you can do in the game, add more abilities, more challenges, that sort of thing, you can buy these really neat expansion packs that look just like boosters, and they're, they're under $5 usually. Right now, the Gambit set is the only one out. It can be hard to find. I'm sure that'll change. And then there's about four more of these uh, booster size expansions coming out in the near future. So... We love the game, right, Max? It, it's totally fun. We play all the time. It's super easy to learn. It's like that. Uh, if you already know how to play some other games, like Ascension, it's way quicker to learn, and it's almost exactly the same. And uh, But if you don't know how to play, it's still pretty easy to learn. You can look at the rules and figure this thing out in five minutes or less, I'm sure. Uh, there is one drawback, in my opinion, and that's the scoring. Um, they've made scoring just regular cards, so your victory points are tracked with point cards. So uh, you start with 50 victory points, as I said, and it's a combination of one point cards, five point cards, 10 point cards, and 20 point cards. And it gets very fiddly kind of mixing and matching these cards. I much prefer tokens in like in a game like Machi Koro, where you take the tokens in, from a pile and put them into your pile. It, it's a lot more fun and um, easy to manage, uh, but that wouldn't work so well with a box like this. So that's my, my one drawback on the game. Otherwise, I completely love it. Max, you have anything else to add? Uh, yes. Uh, there is something kind of like this in the game that might be a little confusing called Outposts, which are, um, if you played Hearthstone, there is um, uh, there's something called Taunt, which is you have to attack that thing before you can attack the player. And Outposts are like that. They're a certain type of bit type of base. And bases are things that give you better attack or give you more money and they like have a little shield which has their health on it and the player can either either choose to attack that, their opponent can either choose to attack the base and get rid of the helping thing that's helping them 
or they can keep it there and not waste their attack. Well said. Thank you. <laughs> well, that's it. That's our review of Star Realm. Thanks for watching. Thank you. And that was Fred and Max reviewing Star Realms, a super popular game right now. His website game, again, is PuzzleNation.com. That's worth checking out. So subscribe, share, all that jazz. But more importantly, play some good games. Thanks. Bye.